What's up guys, my name is Brandon, you guys can call me Swifters, and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite video here on my channel. Today I am coming at you guys with a super exciting video because in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the brand new patch of Volume 7.01 update that dropped here in Fortnite Battle Royale or is currently dropping right now because as you guys can see I'm trying to log on to the Fortnite servers and the Fortnite servers are actually down right now for a downtime for this brand new update which means right now while I make this video it is 208 in the morning I don't know if you guys can see that it is 208 in the morning I've got my coffee right here and it's just very very early and I wanted to go ahead and wake up super super early because I actually went to bed early just so I could go ahead and wake up even earlier to go ahead and provide you guys content for this a brand new update so unfortunately the servers are not responding as you guys can see and that's due to the fact that a downtime is currently live right now so Epic Games can go ahead and prepare the servers for the brand new patch of volume 7.01 update now with this new update there are just so many new things that were added to the game especially that brand new infinity blade which is a brand new weapon or a brand new melee weapon that Epic Games has decided to actually add in to Fortnite Battle Royale. As I said, we're going to go ahead and get into all of the specifics of those patch notes in just a second. But before we truly do get started with today's video, I wanted to go ahead and remind all of you guys that if you do plan on purchasing any new skins in the item shop over these next couple of days, or if you guys have yet to actually purchase the Season 7 Battle Pass and do plan on doing so extremely soon, to make sure that you guys use my supporter creator code, SWIFTERS. It's very easy to go ahead and plug in to the item shop, and I wanted to go ahead and remind all of you guys that a supporter creator code actually does reset every two weeks or every 14 days, so it makes that you guys can continue to input on my supporter creator code but of course as you guys can see the login has failed here in fortnite because the fortnite servers are currently undergoing maintenance and to please try again later so hopefully those servers are live very very soon because i cannot wait to go ahead and get some gameplay and make additional videos for this brand new update but of course as i said we're just going to go ahead and get into all of those patch notes right here right now so as you guys can see one of the first brand new patch notes that we have right here is ready your sword wield a powerful new weapon in battle royale and watch your aim with a returning weapon and save the world again we do have that infinity blade in fortnite battle royale and it's a mythic melee weapon that deals a big damage and destroys structures look for it at polar peak so again, we're just going to go ahead and scroll down a little bit and go to the Battle Royale section. And as you guys can see, with Battle Royale, the patch notes actually include a brand new limited time mode, Close Encounters. Summary of Close Encounters, which is a pretty old limited time mode that was once in the game. This is Close Quarters Combat with Shotguns and Jetpacks. More details, the only weapons in this mode are Shotgun Variants. Jetpacks and Heavy Shotguns can be found in chests and Supply Drops. Other Shotgun Variants respond as Floor Loot. The Storm moves in more quickly than normal at mid to late game typical match length is about 15 minutes stats are enabled for this mode again going to the weapon and items we actually have the infinity blade which i previously described just a little bit but to sort of further give you guys more specifics on this infinity blade this mythic melee weapon can be found on a polar peak so that's pretty interesting you guys can only actually find the infinity blade at polar peak so i'm only gonna assume that a polar peak is going to be popping and there are just going to be so many people going to this location to hopefully get their hands on the brand new infinity blade primary fire delivers a powerful sword slash it deals Big damage to enemies and destroys structures in one blow. 75 damage to players. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually super excited about this brand new Infinity Blade. Just because this is the first time that Epic Games have ever added a new melee weapon into the game. And I remember when Fortnite Battle Royale came out over a year ago, it was always a thought in the back of my mind that maybe, just maybe, there would someday be some type of melee weapon in the game that if you swung and you contacted with an enemy, the enemy would take a significant amount of damage and it looks like that looks like if you guys get hit with this you actually go down in three hits because three times 75 is 225 so this is a very powerful melee weapon and the infinity blade definitely looks like a pretty awesome item so continuing on to a little bit more information about the infinity blade alternate fire allows the player to leap great distances destroying objects in its path upon landing it delivers damage and a knock up to nearby players 25 damage the wielder of the sword is also granted additional abilities an increased pool of max health and shield 200 health 200 shields regeneration of effective health over time up to a max and shields one health per second 
an instant burst of effective health upon elimination of an enemy, 50 health points, increased a movement speed of 130. The first player to pull the Infinity Blade from its pedestal will be instantly healed to full health and shield. If a player picks up the Infinity Blade, all other inventory items aside from building materials will be dropped. When the wielder of the Infinity Blade picks up an item aside from building materials, the Infinity Blade will be dropped. The Infinity Blade will be dropped when the wielder is knocked out or eliminated. Only one Infinity Blade will appear per match. So those stats regarding the Infinity Blade are super, super interesting. Honestly, I had no idea that the Infinity Blade was going to have these perks or these qualities equipped with it when it eventually came to Fortnite. Again, as you guys can see, an increased pool of max health and shield, 200 health and 200 shield. On top of that, you have an increased mobility rate of 130%, which is pretty crazy. So you guys are definitely going to be running a lot quicker, jumping higher, moving faster here in Fortnite. So if I saw someone running at me with that Infinity Blade in a close quarter situation, I would definitely be a little bit scared because that thing definitely looks super, super powerful. So continuing on just a little bit in regard to some new gameplay changes, the X4 Stormwing plane, when a plane is shot down, the driver and all passengers of that plane will now take 25 damage from the explosion. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a little bit 50-50 with the planes right now. The planes here in Fortnite are fun to use if you guys are playing squads. At the same time, they could be super, super annoying if you guys are just trying to build and these planes are flying through your structure. There are definitely some annoying things about the plane and one of the many annoying things includes the fact that originally players inside of the plane when that plane was shot down and exploded it didn't take any damage it was super unfortunate because players could just stay up in the plane for as long as they want to and when that plane gets shot down nothing really happens to them there's no repercussions as soon as that plane explodes they just get thrown out of the plane and then they can sort of reposition themselves with the glider redeploy that's automatically enabled so again with the brand new x4 storm changes to the plane as soon as that plane explodes everyone inside it will take 25 damage now I'm gonna be honest guys I really wish it was a little bit more than 25 damage just because that could potentially deter people from specifically hopping into a game of Fortnite just to specifically use a plane and a ram into structures but again it is a definitely a step in the right direction and I'm super interested to see how the community sort of responds to that just because I know that the x4 storming is fun to use for a lot of people and some people really really don't like it and me I'm in the fence. I'm a little 50-50 either side. There are definitely some more additional improvements that can be made to the X4 Stormwing, aside from just only having 25 damage being taken from players when the plane explodes. But hopefully, just hopefully, Epic Games does plan on making a couple more adjustments to the plane as we sort of progress throughout Season 7. Again, just to go ahead and touch on the bug fixes in the gameplay section, Speculative fix for players moving after being eliminated, fix players being ejected from vehicles if they lost the icy feet effect. So again, here in the creative portion of Battle Royale, there are just a ton of new patch notes that actually came to the game. I'm not going to go ahead and go through all of these patch notes because there's just a lot, but if you guys want to go ahead and check out all of the new patch notes in regard to the creative section of Fortnite, I'm going to go ahead and have the link to the patch notes in the description below. But as you guys can see, there are a ton of new things, bug fixes, prefabs, devices, and gameplay within the creative section of Fortnite night as well so again if you guys want to go ahead and check out pretty much all of these brand new patch notes for the creative section make sure that you guys go ahead and click the link in the description below but just looking at these patch notes it actually looks like epic games put a ton of time in to the creative mode and there are just so many performance changes and there are just so many things that have been updated with the block and with the brand new creative mode but as i said if you guys want to go ahead and check out every single patch notes including the patch notes and save the world make sure that you guys go ahead and click the link in the description below i'm gonna go ahead and try one more time to hop onto fortnite but unfortunately i do think that the servers are still down for that downtime here in season seven but of course guys that is going to be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please be sure to drop a like down below subscribe if you're new with all of that being said i'll be sure to catch you guys later